two Spitfires piloting in the sea just off the French coast, position A. Start the walrus up and uh, get everything ready, but don't take off yet. Air Sea Rescue. The life-saving service of the RAF swings into action as a call for help is received at a coastal command station. A speck in the channel, but a fighter pilot whose life the Air Sea Rescue Service is all out to save. From the spotting Spitfire comes a dinghy, which will be inflated by a bottle of CO2 opened by an automatic immersion switch. Here's where training pays dividends. He knows the routine, and among other things, knows that a wet collar and tie can strangle a man unless he has them off before they shrink. Up goes his distress signal as the walrus amphibian comes in to make its rescue. Figures of the Air Ministry show the record numbers of lives saved. Air Sea Rescue has a young but great tradition behind it. Many an airman owes his life to it. But the story does not end there. Equally important are the high-speed RAF launches which hasten to the rescue of those in peril. This section of our story concerns the crew of a fortress who had to ditch their aircraft at the end of a highly successful raid. Way out at sea, that little company of men had flown their kite and huddled together to wait for the scouting aircraft, the signals of discovery and the throbbing motors of those launches. Not difficult to realize how they feel now with a solid decking beneath them. Rescued and rescuers have the final say in this story. Well, it's been very nice to be of service uh, to you. I think that's the seventh fortress crew we picked up, isn't that right, Jock? No, uh, eight, I think. Eight, eight. Sure. Well, I don't care how many it was, as long as you got us. 